locals of the region believe that the pillars were made using rock melting technology the same way we make alloys today by merging different elements together so they adopt the desired properties the builders of the time may have mixed granite with other elements to achieve the right density is it true let's find in our video India is truly land of wonders. Our kings and queens built many marvelous and jaw-dropping structures. Sadly, almost 75% of them were destroyed, damaged, defeated by invading barbarians. However, many temples and structures survived due to amazing engineering. One such example is the Rangamandapam at Hampi within the Vitala Temple complex. This temple built by the Vijayanagara kings is known as for its stone artifacts and unmatched craftsmanship it also houses magnificent musical pillars these pillars found in various places in south india produce different musical notes like sa re ga ma pa when struck with objects like sandalwood or a human thumb the rang mandapam has around 56 such pillars of the same dimensions additionally each group of seven pillars surrounding the main pillars also produce musical notes the sound making pillars have fascinated people for ages including invaders the moguls burned these pillars for almost 3 months to understand their secret which significantly reduced their ability to produce the sound similarly in the 1900s the british used cut two pillars to study them but found them to be solid granite blocks Each pillar surrounded by seven others is intricately carved though not immediately apparent these carvings often depict a man playing a tabla indicating the pillar's musical qualities when struck with a small sandalwood stick they produce tabla like sounds additionally many pillars emit sounds resembling string and terracotta instruments many people wonder how solid rocks like basalt or granite can produce musical tones scientifically this is only possible if the density of the rocks is changed normally the density of the world's hardest rock granite cannot be changed easily however it can be done by heating the rock to a very high temperature around 2500 degrees celsius in a giant furnace then by adding the right amount of silica to the molten granite rock and shaping it as desired the density can be altered this ancient technique of melting rocks was recently tested by the university of buffalo and they found it to be accurate the molten rock lava must be reshaped by pouring into a suitable mold to create the musical pillars we see today without this process there is no scientific way for a solid rock to produce smoothing sound interestingly despite extensive searches by modern archaeologists no remains of the tools or furnaces used in this process have been found near the city of hampi there are no clues left behind to prove definitively that these pillars were truly made by humans we can conclude that the temples and structures built by our ancient kings were remarkably advanced for their time both technologically and scientifically ironically in today's scientific society many of these achievements are dismissed if we can't fully understand them we find many such musical pillars at warangal kanchi nallaipur temples across south india however we should take pride in our culture and traditions and feel immensely proud of such a rich heritage back then we were part of scientifically advanced society before invaders from mongolia and gulf attacked and invaded india